Hello and welcome. Last time we talked about your rules of success. Have you had time to think about your rules of success? I brought out mine as three key rules. One, knowing and living my passion. Two, fulfilling my purpose. And three, being of service. Central to this was fulfilling my purpose which I said is success to me. Now, what's your rules of success? From where I stand, I honestly believe that the rule of success and the main purpose of us being alive is to fulfill our purpose. I mean, what's the use of a phone if it can't have the basic functions of SMSing or reading a message or calling? That phone has no use. In the same breath, what's the meaning of our life if we cannot fulfill what we were created to fulfill? In this video today, we talk about discovering your purpose. What is purpose to you? Let's listen in to what Jay Shetty has to say about discovering your purpose. Perfect. So how do I find my passion? My simple model, which is the Dharma model, it also Dharma means eternal duty in the Vedic tradition. It's very similar to what Ikigai is being spoken about today, which is the Japanese version of reason for being. Why do we live? Where is meaning coming from? And it talks about an intersect of four areas. What am I good at? What do I love? What does the world need? And how do I get paid for it? To me, those four help you unlock your passion. When you find the intersect across all of those four, you're making your passion your purpose. You'll unlock your passion, you'll find your purpose. According to Jay Shetty, you discover your purpose by knowing what you're good at, what you love doing, what the world needs, and what you can be paid for. There is, however, one thing that I feel is the key in all this, in the journey of discovering our purpose, and that is your conscience. What does your conscience say about it? Your gut feeling, the spirit within you, what does it tell you about a particular action? Now, how do you discover your passion? Passion is what you're good at and what you love doing. The intersection of this is what your passion is. And you know what? God did not put that in you in vain. But now when it comes to purpose, there it's a wider scope. You have to think about what the world needs that you can offer and what your conscience says about it, your gut feeling. Therefore, when you combine what you love doing, what you're good at, what the world needs that you can offer and what your conscience says about it, there in that intersection is your purpose. Is that so hard to do? I don't think so. Because every day there are things that you find yourself doing very comfortably. When you find your passion, you therefore have gone through the first phase of finding your purpose. The other two things you just need to do is Find out what the world needs that you can offer. And what is that knock? What do you feel? What does your gut feeling say about it? With every passing day, I feel like our core focus should be finding our purpose. I mean, as I asked in the beginning, what is the use of us being alive if we are not fulfilling what we were created for? I invite you to do a very interesting exercise each and every day as many times as you can. Ask yourself these four questions. What do I love doing? What am I good at? What does the world need that I can offer? And what does my gut feeling say about it? If you answer these four questions correctly and progressively, you will find your purpose and you will be able to live a more fulfilling life. According to Stephen Covey, he calls it your voice. And here is what he says. 
When you engage in work that taps your talent and fuels your passion, that rises out of a great need in the world that you feel drawn by your conscience to meet, therein lies your voice, your calling, your soul's code. My dear viewers, the formula is simple. I urge all of us to find our purpose so that we will live a more fulfilling life. A life that will enable us to be the gift that the world so badly needs.